FBI released its newest crime statistic today, and it paints a grim picture for us here in Kern County. 23 ABC's Kelly Johnson went through those numbers, joins us live to tell us why it's not a great outlook. Kelly? Unfortunately, those numbers are staggering, especially when considering a county of this size. Kern County ranks high in multiple categories, including car theft. Yes, puppy. Debbie Espinosa okay. is a mother of three. To her family, having two cars was essential. It was to provide my kids. She remembers the day one of those cars was stolen. I cried. To her family, it was a major loss. He now has to get a ride, like carpool, all the way to Lebec. And when he can't get a ride, her family does a lot of walking. Sometimes my, my son will be like, why can't we go in the car? Why do you have to take me walking? And to hear that, it's... It's heartbreaking. Unfortunately, these crimes frequently happen in Kern County. That's common. That's, that's the crime of choice now. So common that the county ranks second in car theft in the state, according to the latest numbers released by the FBI. And when 23 yeah, ABC uh, News uh, recently uh, met up with Sheriff job. Johnny Youngblood, well, he uh, says uh, it's a serious uh, concern, uh, especially uh, after uh, county uh, budget cuts have impacted jobs in his department. If you look at our country, we're, we're pretty close to anarchy, and that, that's very frightening for law enforcement to, uh, to look at and even say, but, but we are. The FBI reports that Kern County not only ranks high in car theft, but that the county often ranks in the top three in many crime categories, including violent crimes, arson, rape, and property crime. I think that there should be more cameras. But Sheriff Youngblood says part of the problem is that criminals just don't care. We have people that today that are willing to confront law enforcement with firearms that never 20 years ago uh, was very, very rare, very common now. Espinoza says she's no longer angry and is just happy her family is safe. Everything happens for some reason. We just scratched the surface on that latest FBI report. For the full report, you can log on to our website and mobile and tablet apps. Reporting live from downtown Bakersfield, Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC.